Well, hey, boys and girls. Um, what I'm about to show you is an optional lesson, but I think a lot of students and families will really enjoy it. I taught you in an earlier lesson how to use your Chromebook to take, to take pictures um, using the launcher and the, and the camera app. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Canvas mobile app, whether on a smartphone, iOS, or Android, or on a tablet that, where you can get the Canvas student app. So I know not everyone has a device, which is why this is an optional uh, lesson. But if, if you have a, a device that allows you to get the Canvas student app, or if, if someone in your family uh, has a device that will get the Canvas student app and they'll let you use it for school, this lesson might be something you really enjoy. So we're going to learn how to use the Canvas app for, um, for a smartphone or a tablet to take photos and then use those photos to submit an assignment. Okay, so again, this is an optional assignment. And uh, the first thing you're going to do is get Canvas Student. Canvas Student has the red circle. Not Canvas Teacher, but Canvas Student, the app. Open it up, and then it's going to say Find My School. But you're not going to type in Allisonville or Clearwater. You're going to go with MSD. Exactly as I have it. MSD space Washington Township. And as you can see, it shows up. So I'll just click on MSD Washington Township. And then you'll do your, uh, your single sign-in like you do to log into your Chromebooks. Exactly the same. And this is your dashboard. This is a fifth grade student's dashboard. And uh, looks just like your dashboard on, on your Chromebook. But this is just on my phone. And you can uh, submit uh, an assignment on any course. I'm going to go ahead and select the AV fifth grade technology course. That's the one that I'm going to show you how to submit. But you could do it for any course. So I'm going to go ahead. So this is the uh, fifth grade technology course, which really doesn't look like it looks on your Chromebook, right? Well, um, that's okay. We're going to click on the, the home front page button. You see where that's, it says home in, in big letters. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And now it looks just like it looks on the Chromebook, right? Um, just a little bit different. And I'm going to go ahead and slide down and scroll down and find the August 11th assignment. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And the first part were, were the directions and the, the launcher tour. And then I go ahead and click Next like I would on a Chromebook for the next part. And the next part, this is where you're actually submitting something, just like you did on the Chromebook. Here it says Resubmit. I was playing around with this. But you click sub, uh, Submit, and then you're going to choose any of those three. But if you have a photo you wanted to share or submit, you would click File upload. Text entry and media are fine, but file upload will help you send a photo from your camera roll. Now, here you can choose to use the camera and take a picture right then and there by clicking the camera button on the bottom. You see where it says camera, library, files, and if you click camera, you could actually use the camera on your phone or your tablet. It's me outside. But I want to send a picture from my, from my library, my camera roll. So maybe there's a photo that I really wanted to share with my teacher and submit. So if I click on library, now I get to my, my camera roll. And if I click on favorites, there are some really great pictures of my dogs. They're really cute. So I could send as many photos as I want. I can keep adding more and more files, but I'm just picking that one, that one cute picture. If I click submit, watch, watch. Confetti, my favorite. I love confetti. I love it. So you can now use a smartphone or a tablet or any type of device. If you can download the Canvas student app, you can use that now to submit to submit files. Hope it helps.